the typical problems you see with audio, the dialogue is too low or the music is too high <laughs> or both. And it's hard to sort of comprehend what's being said. And I've got an example here in iMovie. I'm just pulling up here. And here we are back in iMovie. And I have this section here. I'll play it for you. And you'll hear what I'm talking about. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's main arteries. And like many major cities in the world, this network is vital to Toronto's economy. And that's the subway system, a part of the Toronto Transit Commission, TTC. Whoa, whoa, that was crazy, right? You could hear my voice through that barely, right? We have a bias, when, particularly when it comes to audio. If, you, if you've done the voiceover, You've written the script and you've done the, or the outline and you've done the voiceover that's in your head. When you go to mix your audio in your video, because you know what you said, your brain will fill in the blanks. But for, for the casual viewer, they're not going to be able to understand that because it's just, it's too much going on and they can't understand the voice or the, or the information in the, in the voiceover, which carries the bulk of the information. What do we do? <laughs> it's easy in iMovie to fix your audio. But you got to know sort of the technique behind it. Here's the rule. If you have voiceover or it's you're on camera, what have you, if it's spoken dialogue, the dialogue takes precedent. So what you want to do, and I'll do it here, is you want to make sure the dialogue is clear and at a good level and then everything else balances around it. So, for example, here, I've got my crazy mix here. Here is my voiceover. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off these other tracks. And it's really easy to do that in iMovie. If I select the train, I'll go up to the audio, and I'll just hit the speaker and mute it. And I'm going to mute the music as well. So now I just have my voiceover. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels. Okay, so I'm going to select that. And... Let's talk about levels, because in, in iMovie, it's hard to know what is a good level, what's not a good level. So we see this line here, down here, this little band. That's kind of like, you can think of that being the zero line. And you kind of want your audio hitting there. Now, it's okay to go a little above it. You can see here, a little yellow is okay, but you don't want red, because that's distortion. Things are going to get crushed. It's going to sound terrible. <laughs> so you want to kind of be... Maybe just kissing the yellow a little bit. But one thing, I'll put this back to 100. Go back up here, bring it down to 100 again. But one tool in, in um, iMovie, as you can see there, is you can sort of normalize your audio, which means kind of bring it up to a strong level and make it consistent using the auto button up here. So with my voice selected here, I'm just going to hit the auto button. So let's listen to it before the auto button so you can hear the difference. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's main arteries. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's okay. But with it selected, I'll go up and hit auto. You saw the waveform bounce up. So now listen to it. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's main arteries. So it sounds a little fuller, it's a little louder, it's a little more um, consistent. So now that I have my voiceover where I want it, everything else blends around it. So let's blend the music next. So I'll select the music down here and turn it back on by unmuting it. And you can see already looking at the waveform, you look at all that yellow and there's a little bit of red. It's not gonna be good, we'll play it. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's It's not terrible, artery. but it's still a little strong. So we're just going to bring it back. Now, I can grab this band and do it, but what I like to do actually is go up here and use this, get a little more precise with it. So I'm going to bring it down to like, mm, let me go to 35%, 30, yeah, around 37, let's hear Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's main arteries. And like many major cities in the world, that's pretty good. So now that's balanced. So next, the last thing is the train. So I'll unmute that. And this is going to be loud. Toronto. 
Toronto. There's a whole... So we're going to bring that down. And I'm going to bring that down to like 35%-ish. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels. A network that acts like the city's main arteries. That's pretty good. But I just want to show you one last trick for audio. Um, I've, yeah, I go through this in other tutorials, but while I'm here, I just want to show you. So that section when the train is kind of coming in is a little loud. I would like to bring that down a little bit, but I don't want to bring the whole thing down. So great thing in, in iMovie, I love this, is you can do what's called a range selection. So I can hit the R key or hold down the R key on my keyboard, and I can make a range over that loud part. And then I can go up to the audio here and pull down that area, that range a little bit. And iMovie will automatically, if you see down here, will automatically create these little keyframes to adjust the audio. So cool. You don't have to manually do it. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. So let's listen to this. Deep under the busy streets of Toronto, there's a whole world of tunnels, a network that acts like the city's main arteries. And like many major cities in the world, this network is vital to Toronto's economy. And that's the subway system. So there you go. See how easy it is with just some tools and just some technique in terms of remembering to make the voice prominent and everything else balances around it. And that is so important when it comes to, again, with video, audio is very important. But it's very easy to do in iMovie. So, you know, there should be no excuse <laughs> to, to not fix your audio and balance those levels. One other tip, big tip, and I know people make this mistake a lot when it comes to mixing or balancing your audio, okay? Whatever speakers you're using, whether it's, I don't know if you're using your headphones, if you're using, you know, you have speakers like I do here in the studio, very important tip, this is a pro tip. Set your speaker level, volume level, to 50% and don't touch it while you're mixing. Because a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll be blending and mixing their audio and they say, oh, that's the little, I can't hear that. And they'll turn up their speakers. Well, you've totally thrown out any reference, right? Your speakers are your reference. So you want to, I, my rule of thumb, they're at 50%. I don't touch them. If stuff is low, then I have to bring it up in the application, right? So you got to, you have to have a certain reference baseline and that's the one I do. So there's, there's a pro tip for you.